friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new, my name is Maritza and I am an elementary school teacher in the state of North Carolina. I am currently teaching fifth grade science and social studies. Today is Wednesday, as you can probably tell from my slide <laughs> behind me. Today is Wednesday and it's already, the week has already flown by so fast. Um, I decided to pick up my camera today. I have not been recording for some time. Life has just been super busy and teaching has also been super busy. So here I am now finally picking up my camera and sharing some teaching content with you guys. I'm really excited. I hope that you are enjoying my videos and definitely let me know if you are enjoying this content or what you'd like to see. I'd love to know. and make videos that interest you and um, that you are looking forward to seeing in the future. So definitely let me know down in the comments. But if you are new, thank you for stopping by as well. And I am really excited about today. Today is actually our first like full day, like a normal day we've been testing this week. And we're also going to be testing on tomorrow. Um, so it was Monday, Tuesday, and then Thursday. So it's been definitely a funky week um, and then next week is even worse, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm actually gonna go uh, put the camera down just for a little bit because I'm about to get class started. The students are gonna start coming in soon. So I will see you guys in just a little bit. This is my outfit of the day. It's actually pretty cold outside, but um, one day I don't decide to wear boots. I I'm freezing, so I'm wearing my flats. These are from Target. My pants are probably from Express, I'm not too sure. And my top is from Ross, and this cozy sweater is also is from Target. And my lanyard is from Teach Create, Teach Create, Teacher Care Create. And my glasses are from I Buy Direct. Um, yeah, so this is pretty comfy, and um, but it's a little chilly, so I hope I'm not too cold today. It's pretty warm in the building, but nothing too crazy. This is my outfit for today. All right, and it is now my planning time. Oh my goodness, the day has gone by really quickly, um, and I am exhausted. This is the first day we've, um, in this week, that we've had like a normal schedule week, so my blocks are about 70 minutes, 75 minutes long, so I am pretty exhausted, and Instead of doing a study hall, we're doing a fourth block. So it's a little bit new and still trying to get used to it. Um, but it provides us so much more time with our students in each classroom and each block to spend more time on the content that we're teaching. So it's super helpful that we have that. Um, and we switch things around to look like that. But um, let me tell you guys about what we're doing in class and some things that I've added to my classroom that are working really, really great. And I think that it would be great in any kind of classroom, whether you're teaching just science or just social studies or just math and science, however you're teaching, whether it's departmentalized or just in a general um, classroom, like you're teaching all the subjects. So I wanna show you guys that because I think it's really helpful. Um, sometimes when I'm looking at videos, I'm also looking at other teachers and what they're doing and what works. So I do wanna share that with you guys. So one of my newest things that I have in my classroom is my Wonder Wall. I am so excited about this because it has brought up my engagement so much within my classroom and just my students and our collaboration in talking with our teams and even as class discussions. I think this was a wonderful idea. I will definitely link it down below the website where I found this idea and like just like the layout of it. I changed it a little bit um, just to fit my, to just fit on this wall, but she has a template and even a book, a uh, printable book that you can use within your classroom. So I will definitely link it down below for you guys if you're interested, but it's basically, it's what we think we know, what we wonder in this next box, confirmed ideas misconceptions and new info and he gradually throughout the lessons and throughout like just our learning and our my teaching and I use the 5e model to teach my science lessons so as we're going through the lessons we'll fill these in so so far we've done the we think we wonder and some new info today we added that and then down here I've started creating my notebooks I made them in here now I got this idea off of Instagram 
And basically, it's just separating my notebooks by color. And I just love the way they look. I even got this template off of her website or her Teachers by Teachers. And um, then we, so we started fresh this semester. So I was really excited about this. And I color coded with the duct tape. And that's what I have going on over here. Something else that I love in my classroom that I think works really well. It's a little bit hard to keep up with it, but I'm really trying to make an effort this quarter to keep up with my blocks. Um, but it's the candy boards, also the same person from where I got the resource for the notebooks. And all I do is I give them a point as a class point and um, they are like going against each other to earn the points and whoever, whatever block wins gets a candy. And then I also use this method for just my homeroom and they get to take off a mystery picture and reveal the picture and earn the prize that's in the mystery picture. You can pretty much tell in this one it's popcorn. Um, so once we reveal all of the numbers that become a whole picture and then we'll reveal the prize. And these are basically my two incentives right now besides what I have here as my kiss your brains and then my fun erasers. Um, I give these occasionally, not all the time, just because I have a lot of students. These will probably go really fast. And then I also have my pencil rental and I put we put fresh pencils up here and then they can come and write their name to borrow a pencil and then put it back if they just don't have one for whatever reason in the classroom. Try to keep up with that, make sure my pencils come back. Sometimes it's, there are just no pencils at the day, but it's okay, we move on. During my planning time, I usually spend at least 15 minutes or so grading papers. In this case, I am grading one pagers, which takes a little bit more time because I use my rubric and I attach it to their work and then put it into the grade book later once I've graded everything. Also, just a reminder to drink your water, teaching all day, your voice goes out and it's so important to drink water. I don't think they tell us enough um, in the teaching career, in the teaching world that you need to be drinking water. So I've got my gallon here. I got this one off of Amazon and it is really motivating to drink water. I know it's a lot, but um, it's all the way up until 9 p.m. So cheers to water. class we I had a lot of students out actually I had about I don't even know for each block I want to say it was at least six to seven students out do because they were sick or because they had to do makeup testing so I'm a little skeptical skeptical about just following through with my lesson plans just because I have so many students out we have such a little bit of time for the content anyway um so right now we're doing cells which is super exciting because we're finally moving into the, like the living into the unit of living organisms so today I did day two of introducing cells to my class and um we yesterday we did a gizmos um interact interactive uh, microsoft Microsoft interactive microscope activity it was just an investigation we don't have a whole lot of cell samples here at our school like those resources we do have like two maybe three microscopes um, so I do plan on trying to get some samples and that way I can like make it into the stations into our in our lab but I found gizmos and they were able to do to look at cell or different cell types in the gizmos and it was so much fun i really a like really really enjoyed it and i think my students did too they really enjoyed being able to look at it on there and it goes through different portions it has like the landscape the microscope and then um they can see it the the life within 
the organisms. So that was really fun. So that's the part where I had them exploring. Um, today we did more of an explaining part of the 5e model. So I had my slides and I went through my slides and we had um, some doodle notes, which was also really fun. Let me grab those really quick. So this is what our doodle notes look like. I got these actually free on Teachers Pay Teachers. Usually the doodle notes, you have to pay for them, um, but nothing really aligns with my seek my scope and or not my scope and sequence, but my standards and what I have to teach here in North Carolina. So it kind of is a bummer because I don't want to buy a whole package or a whole set and then it doesn't really go with what we're doing. So unfortunately, but fortunately I did find this one. Um, so it's the unicellular and the multicellular organism. So we did the doodle notes and then I had them copy the notes from our slide to compare them. So like the, what they're the same and what's different. And um, that went into their notebooks. I'm really trying to save paper. So them copying notes is probably gonna be happen more often so that we save paper and not me having to copy so many make so many copies and then have them put into your notebook. So, but that worked out really well. And after that, we did a vocabulary assignment, which was also really fun. I absolutely love vocabulary. So they did an assignment on there and then put it into their notebook um, just to extend that learning as well. So I'm currently in our science lab. I wanted to update you guys on what it looks like right now. I shared it I believe in a previous video, but I never actually walked you guys in here, I think. I can't even remember, but I did some changes. Well, should I say we, my homebrew and I came in here during recess for about 10 minutes and just like put stuff on the walls and kind of like organized it and decorated it a little bit to look like a science lab. So I'm gonna show you guys what it kind of looks like right now. I wish I had more time to put things up here and like make it more science environment, but I think it actually looks pretty good. So let me show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so as you come in, we have the lab tables um, and there are seven of them, yeah, six, seven tables, um, lab tables, and pretty much everything in the back is the same as it was, it's pretty empty classroom, but we made these when we were doing force in motion and they were just like graffiti, they're graffiti wall anchor charts um, that they did in groups, but we added all of these little stencils, <laughs> um, decorations up on the walls that are sciencey. And then there's some over here as well. And there are tables in like little spot corners, like that one there and that one there, just because they're extra. Some actually fell, that one fell up there. But I'm planning to use them as a station or as a demonstration table. So I'm gonna keep these tables here. I really, I kind of do like that there. Um, that one actually fell, but you can see there's a magnifying glass, a um, magnet. <laughs> And then over here is the teaser table. So I have three blocks, so I have three baskets here that I'm gonna be using. And then in the cabinets is like mo some other material. There's not a whole lot, but back here as well, I have some more storage and we have some FOSS bins or FOSS, FOSS kits, but it's they're not specifically aligned to the standards that I'm teaching, but they're still pretty useful. So we have those there, don't wanna get rid of that. And then there's some other materials, some projects some of my students did when we were doing clouds and with weather, but I have some other material here, such as the, the rocks and magnet kits, also rain gauge when we were talking about weather, and then thermometers here, um, some dice. And then this is probably my favorite part of the room. This is most likely gonna be like a station corner and where I house like my microscopes. Um, I had these in the classroom before, so we moved them here and I'm thinking I'm gonna, what my plan is to put vocabulary up here and then have it like in, an engagement center or like a station where we can do something here. Um, and then I just we put up these posters up here, energy resources in the water cycle. And then I found this really cool moon, and I think you plug it in, and that's what it looks like here. Um, but we don't do the moon, so um, it is nice though that it's kind of like goes with the science room. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now it just looks a lot more organized. Believe me, before it looked just like a giant mess, like tables and everything was just like scattered here. So I'm pretty happy with it. I'm excited to do to be in here more um, for a little bit. It wasn't being used the way it should have. So that's how I organized it. <sighs> And just like that, the day is over. It is now almost 3.45 and the day has come to an end. Um, I am going to get myself situated for heading out. I'm trying to make it a goal to leave by 4.15. I have put my alarm on for 4.15 every day. So I my alarm tells me, all right, it's time to go home. Um, sometimes it's doable and sometimes it's just not. But my kids have Taekwondo at the end of the day or at in the evening um, on a couple days out of the week so i really try to be present for those and of course i have to do all the mom things when i get home like make dinner and clean up and all the things so i am really trying my best to leave on time and so i'm not rushing and then on top of that i do my workouts now in the afternoon just in the mornings we're not working out and then it's like freezing cold in the mornings it's like 20s and 30 degrees outside so my gym is in my garage and it is just so so cold in there i just i can't do it so and, and i even have like a little small heater in there but it's just it's not cutting it so i tend i try to do my workouts in the afternoon on in like the fall winter month or more like the winter months because it's so cold in the af in my garage um right now i always make it a habit to clear off my desk i try to put in a couple of grades i've already changed my date on my board and um just kind of glance over what we're doing tomorrow make sure i have all the things i need tomorrow we're actually taking um our uh reading test our reading state test so i don't have a whole lot to prepare we do rotate tomorrow for uh in the afternoon like our regular blocks um so I do need to prepare for that. Uh, make sure I have my stuff for our lessons, but we're not doing a whole lot just because, again, I have so many students gone, so I'm having to pay, play a little bit of catch up with them. I do have these really great books um, that I ordered off of, it's called Science Alliance, um, and it was actually parents who like donated, or, or um, I guess donated, funds to buy stuff for our classroom and they had science stuff so i have these two books i'm gonna grab the other one and it's it comes like in a whole set but if you are like me and my school my school district doesn't have science curriculum apparently a lot of schools don't have science curriculum i used to use FOSS in my previous school when i taught um uh, for Dodea and they had FOSS and then also when I taught in Texas we had FOSS absolutely love it if you get to a school that has FOSS take full advantage of it it's amazing um, but I do I did bring with me like a lot of those things that I learned from those professional developments and stuff because it was super useful and I just love the flow of all the investigations but I did find these books, um, and like I said, it comes in like a bundle, but we're doing the live science part of it right now. This is from Science Alliance, so here I have the plant cells and animal cells, and then genetics, DNA, and characteristics. And they're basically just worksheets in here, but at the end there's hands-on activities, and then there's projects in here. Um, it also uh, includes uh, careers and the scientific method. Let's see, it has a glossary. Um, inventors and inventions, tools and equipment, metric conversions. So it's a really fun way of engaging students using the worksheets um, and also very kid friendly, <laughs> easy to use, just make the copy really quick. These are really great for the t just taking a closer look. I feel like a lot of students need it tangible things other than um, I know they're fifth graders and I use my slides and it's super effective, but I feel like they do need those things that um, get them to practice more, especially practice and just like get involved with the vocabulary. And it just makes it a little bit more fun, especially when they make it in these fun ways, mysterious ways like cross uh, word searches and fill in the blanks, uh, models, 
um, these like mystery question things. So these are super exciting. I love these. And I got some like other things from that website too. Um, some posters and some other fun things. So I'm gonna plan to make some copies of this, but tomorrow's pretty easy. We are, I have to make some anchor charts, so I might do that in the morning, um, just because I don't have my anchor charts planned out yet. And there are some things that they didn't finish today that are rolling over to tomorrow. So uh, we'll see how that goes, how that get, plan, get plans out. So all I do is I just mark it on my lesson plan and I just like put that arrow, move it to the next, um, to the next day and make my accommodations if I need to in pen. But I use planbook.com um, and I do have, I do absolutely love like the digital versions of lesson plans, but be, just because we have to actually turn in lesson plans, I don't use it as much. Even my happy planner, I don't use as much for the planning because I have to turn in my lesson plans. Um, so I just type it in here and then kind of modify it and then I'll go back into plan book and then change it up into plan book so that it saves for next year. Fingers crossed I'll still be in the science classroom. If you've been watching a little bit, I've moved quite a bit every year um, and that was because of choice, uh, partly. Um, so hopefully I'm gonna be still in the same classroom, in the same just teaching science. So I'm excited to see that follow through but yeah that's what i do and if you're trying to save time that's super easy just move your like your lessons and edit them in plan book once you do them here saves you a lot of time <laughs> Giving the guinea pigs their last food. I feed them twice a day their vegetables and I give them like the handful. I actually meal prep their vegetables for them. And so they have that for, this is their second from the morning and then I put fresh hay for them and some water. They're good on the water right now. Um, and I gotta put some more pebbles for them. But this is them. We're gonna head out for the day. They're hiding right now because I'm too close. There's, they like to scatter when we get close. You can see them right there by the cage. Oh, thanks, Bella. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. They're probably looking for treats. <laughs> Sometimes I get, at the end of the day, I give them some treats. Um, but they know they're, when I get close, they're getting their veggies. <laughs> all right so if you're new to my channel you can check out my other video but this is their new setup i don't think i really i don't think i've shared it yet oh my goodness this is their setup now i got this on cavi cage um and i actually got it during black friday so i got it on a on a and i got a good deal for it um and it's the the four by two i believe and they absolutely love it. They're so much happier in this cage. So I was really glad to invest in that. I just love seeing them roam around and then their little loft, they go up there in their little loft. I feel like I wanna get some more of these so that I can make it taller, more of these and so I can make it taller and um, just more space for them to run around, but they absolutely love going up there, but not as much as they do like staying down here. Um, they just don't go so much up there, I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is what their cage looks like. And I keep all of their stuff in these bins down here. And then I keep their hay and their food in containers. And I keep um, the litter box stuff back here. 
and this is so helpful for the smell just because the ammonia smell is pretty strong so i d did a lot of research and i found that this one the odor control is really good um and i pretty much just get all my things off at PetSmart. um and like these little nicks and things are from amazon but the cover itself is from this little cover in here is also from cabbie cage and they're very very happy it's incredible how happy they are <laughs> they come out quite a bit now and they just love just to roam around all right friends that is it for today i'm gonna go ahead and skedaddle out of here and head home um i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and enjoyed being with me today throughout my day in this fifth grade science classroom if you are not yet subscribed and part of my family here on youtube don't forget to subscribe down below and join my youtube family here and also click the notification bell to be notified for future videos which i hopefully will get back in the rhythm of things and be posting more regularly and let me know what you guys are interested in watching i'd love to create videos that are interesting and that are things that you guys want to see that i'm doing in the classroom as well i am open to so many suggestions so please let me know down in the comments and if you enjoy this video don't forget to click the like button it lets me know you're enjoying the content that you are watching and that you like seeing me in action in my classroom so i hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed being with me so i will see you in the next video bye